All right, first things first, let's get the shout outs out the way. Uh, shout out to Kesh and Aziz, my fellow uh, work colleagues slash neighbors. Um, thanks for supporting me and watching my videos and commenting on it and leaving likes and all that stuff. Really appreciate it. So this is your guy's shout out. Thank you for being the first um, the first supporters. Um, so yeah, got that out the way. Thanks for that, guys. Appreciate it. Um, today is Sunday, the 8th of October. And today was legs. Um, feel good. No injuries. Um, same old, same old. Squatting felt strong. Um, didn't go over 225, 100 kilos. Stuck to that. Still got my heels up um, under the 15 kilo plate or on top, should I say? Uh, yeah, I feel good. I feel good, um, especially with these rest days in between training. I feel much better. The last time I did legs was six days ago. It was on Monday, and now it's Sunday. So I feel that you know I hit legs twice this week, which is fair. And I feel like today was the perfect day to do them because I feel 100% again on the legs. Um, great pump uh, can't complain everything was good from a, a training standpoint uh, from a anabolic standpoint I took 10 milligrams of anabol again this morning only on training days again and I am next week starting tomorrow which is week 10 I will be finishing so week today which will be the 15th of October next Sunday is my last that's it. That's it on the orals. That's 10 weeks done. I'll make it halfway through my EQ cycle. Um, furthermore, I'm upping the dose of EQ in Primo on Thursday. So I'm going to be putting that up by another half a mil. So the total Primo will be 150 milligrams a week at a mil and a half. And the EQ will be at... Uh, 450 yeah 450 a week at a mil and a half uh test stays the same uh sus 250 on a monday half a mil that's not changing minimal side effects two spots here on my face but they're gonna go away after today it's not really i don't feel any um anything developing here anymore and i definitely think that's because of the um the Anavar, since I've lowered the dose and only taken on training days, they've drastically been reduced to virtually nothing. Um, yeah, androgens out the way. Also, I have quit caffeine, which I haven't updated on since, God, when was it? Oh gosh, I don't remember. It's been at least a week now, or at least Monday, somewhere there. It's been a week since I've had caffeine. And... I've been having some crazy ass dreams. I tell you some weird ass dreams regarding like insects and I don't know man. I don't wanna talk about it but yeah, I've been having some weird ass dreams. Like dreams where I have to fight almost for my life and you know, it seems like a life and death situation, stuff like that. But yeah, it's um very weird dreams. And I'm, my sleep's improving actually. Um I woke up this morning feeling good which is great, so it, it is the coffee, it's the caffeine, way too much, five, six cups a day, way too much caffeine, it's like over a gram of coffee a day, of caffeine, sorry, a day, it's not good, not good, anyone watching this, I don't recommend you drinking, it needs to be used as a tool, man, you can't, you know, I love the taste of coffee, and I could drink that shit all day, but it does have adverse effects, after a while, you, you know, you will start paying the price, especially in the sleep department, and, you know, the, the adenosine receptors being blocked, so you will suffer, man. Knowing from personal experience, I've suffered for the last eight months blindly drinking coffee, thinking, where the fuck can't I sleep? That's why. So I've been on the decaf, and yeah, everything's well, everything's everything's going much better. Um, so yeah, sleep is good. Um, yeah, up in the dose. And yeah, shout out to the guys at uh, 
at work for supporting me. And um, speak to you later.